Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today's video is going to be something that you'll like. I can tell that for sure because I know my, my all my other bargain videos are really popular on this channel when I'm doing like a haul from like home bargains or B&M or something like that. And I had never given a preview there until I got this email from Cherries. I hadn't heard of them before, but as soon as I had a look on the site, I was like, this is right up my street and I know that you guys are going to like it as well. Cherries is an online app for everyday essentials and like stuff for your house, cleaning, basically all the stuff that you would look for in a bargain shop, but you order through an app and it just comes to your door and it's so, so good. I have so much stuff here. I'm going to show you basically the full range of the shop because I've got some things for every section, but I've got a lot of like good little stocking fillers, um, some household cleaning bits, beauty bits, house decoration things, like there's so much on there. Plus, I have a discount code, it's Ailey20 and it will get you 20% off when you use the app. So the app is just cherries with a Z. Yeah, happy shopping, you're gonna love it. Okay, so straight away I went for wax melts. They have all the Yankee candle ones. I got these little wax melts. I got candle at cabin. I got All Is Bright, which I've had the big candle of this one before. Oh, I love that one. I got Frosty Gingerbread. Oh my God, that one's going on today. And I did also buy this little votive, which is called After Sledding. Definitely a Christmas one. Really, really cute. So get on there. I would also say that the standard delivery is super quick. Like I got this stuff within two days. It just came this huge, huge big box and it is just like Christmas morning. I'm so happy to look through this all. So they were all a pound each. Um, I also got some Elves candy canes. We are doing Elves on the shelf here. So I'm going to use these for the standard little Elf sledging or some other little random thing that he's going to be doing with these. Might be a cute little stocking filler as well if you were to buy them for that. Another thing that was a pound, which I was so surprised at, was a foot peel pack. This is tea tree and peppermint. If you're into TikTok, you probably have seen like the process of what these are like. So you basically just put the socks on, you leave it for 90 minutes and then wash it all off. And then within seven to 10 days, the dead skin of on your feet should just peel off. And it looks really disgusting as if you're literally a snake shedding its skin. Its skin. But afterwards, it just looks so good. Like I definitely need this. I actually paid about I actually paid about eight pounds for one from Amazon, and this one's only a pound. So I will let you know how I got on with that. I don't know if I'll be doing any feet close-ups, but I will let you know if it works. Cleaning section, I picked up some floor wipes and some toilet wipes. I also got some resealable freezer bags. I got some concentrated Fabulosa, basically like Zaflora. And I got it in the, I think this was linen, no, it's Winter Garden. I haven't smelled this before. But I'm, I'm planning on doing the sinks and everything today, so I will use this one. Oh, it smells nice. It's very linen fresh kind of smell. And yeah, if you've never used this, I've actually done a whole video on how you can use the flora, and it's basically the same. It's just a disinfectant. You can put it down your sink, you can put it on your floors, if, as long as you've not got like pets and kids going straight on them afterwards yeah it's just a really good little disinfectant so that was a pound and they had quite a few different scents of that available also got a little thing of milky bars i'm gonna milky bar buttons i'm gonna use these as stocking fillers so the next few items are all under two pounds so they're like one pound ten one pound twenty that kind of thing i got this which i'm so I, i'm so surprised that i've never seen something like this before because there is definitely a market for it this is a little breakfast pot. So if you are on the go, you can put cereal in there and you can put yogurt in here and you can mix it all. I was actually planning on using it for overnight oats. So I just thought it'd be good to have something like that. Put in your overnight oats, you've got a little spoon um, and if you wanted, you could put your muesli and stuff in the top so that when you put it in, it's not... When I make overnight oats, I feel like sometimes they can get soggy if you put everything in at the one time and um, so if you're on the go that would be absolutely perfect i know that andy's going to steal this but i thought i would get one first just to make sure that we use it and it's good quality and stuff and i'm happy with it i'm pretty happy with that i think that's really good revolutionary products i also got the boys some baby shark cups they're obsessed with baby shark just now they're totally 
in the zone with that. I feel like they're really late to the party because everyone else was singing Baby Shark like a year ago. But they're so into it. They've got an app on their iPads um, or their tablets that they use for that. And yeah, these are just little cups. These were 150 and they have a straw that just kind of pops back in here, which is really cute. These will be good for the garden in summer as well. I'm going to use them as stocking fillers at Christmas time, but that'll be a good little thing for taking out in the garden in the summer. And yeah, just little plastic cups, really cute. And they're all Baby Shark branded, which kids love. They're totally the age where if they see something that they recognize on their cups and their plates, then they're so excited. Some more household little things. I got this set of four strainers and sifters. So really basic, let me just open it up mini ones because you know that way sometimes if you're trying to like sieve into a smaller bowl then if you've only got one sieve like me then it can go everywhere so these will be quite good just to have for baking and stuff good little gadget to have I also got some oh this is just one elbow grease pad so it's a bit like a minky I suppose but I've been using these a lot more recently I never really got into the whole phase with minky I always use microfiber cloths, but I've actually been using one like this recently and I am converted on it. I think it's easier to just use the same one all day and just put it in and wash it as you go rather than feeling like you have to throw everything in the washing machine. And they are like antibacterial pads, the only cleaning pads that you'll ever need. It's pretty good. So it says it's ideal for use on pots, pans, work surfaces, um, bathrooms, showers, obviously not all like one after the other but um you can clean it as you go kind of thing which i think is really really good and yeah that's all i have to say about that i got myself this little brush cleaner for cleaning your makeup brushes that's kind of all i have to say about that as well you just basically hold it like this rub your brush on it put some bubbles and clean your makeup brushes back to stocking fillers i got the play sand so this is kind of like kinetic sand is this cutting my head off a little bit? Has it been doing that the whole time? Yeah, so it's play sand. I got it in bright orange. This is going to be a stocking filler for the boys. I'm going to hope they don't play with it in the house because I remember last year the mess that this stuff causes. But yeah, it's a good thing. They find it really, really fun to play with. And this was under £2. I think it's like £1.10 or something. Some more baby shark stuff. I got this little thing for Marcus. Just a little spoon and fork. Baby shark branded. I got a baby shark scratch art set for Oliver. He's going to love that. He loves that sort of stuff. He's very arty and he likes making things. And I used to love stuff like this when I was in school. You just scratch through and all the colours are underneath. So he's kind of like he's colouring in, but in a more exciting way. I picked up these makeup sponges. Quite a good amount that you get in this little packet. I think these are 150 and they've got lots of different sizes as well, which is really, really good. And from the cleaning section, I got Air Pure Incredibles. So, so these are, what are the other ones called? Lenore, it might be Lenore. Um, basically, you just put them in with your washing just to boost the scent. Straight into the washing machine to give your laundry a fresh scent boost. So, oh my God, that smells so good. Oh my God, they are so good and so cheap compared to the ones that you would normally get, like the really branded ones. I think that's brilliant really good under two pounds okay so tell me this am i the only one that uses sponges rather than like shower proofies because i love these i started using these whenever um i had marcus and they actually really reminds me of the hospital because of that but i love them they're just they're just exfoliating sponges so if you've got fake tan on you can just use the rough side and it will take it right off and it's just good for keeping your skin nice and soft as well so i got a three pack for a pound which is brilliant I also got these little popcorn bags. These are very, like home bargains always have stuff like this. They're just cute for a little novelty night in. Um, we actually got a popcorn maker for Oliver's birthday. So I think it'd be cute just to put it in popcorn bags if we're gonna sit and watch a film. He would be all over that. I also got a little duster, microfiber duster, a wee mini thing, two pounds. Not much to say, it is extendable. So you can get into all the little bits. The thing that I actually notice that I forget all the time is the top of door frames. Obviously it doesn't really matter that much because you can't see up there. But 
I need to remember and do the top of my door frames because if I ever get anyone over six foot in my house, then they're going to see how dusty the top of those are. So yeah, I <laughs> got one of these little dusters for that. They have different colours as well if that interests you. I got a little pack of battery operated lights. These are so good at this time of year. Like literally batteries, the little lights. I've got the boys a mini Christmas tree, which I'll show you in a sec. So I'm going to do a little Christmas tree for them. I might actually do that as one of the things that their elf does. I think I might do that actually. I think that'd be really, really cute. Get him to decorate a little tree for him in the morning. Because my elf isn't always naughty. Sometimes he's just getting up to things. It's more like a Toy Story vibe that he's doing things when we are sleeping rather than him being naughty. Um, so yeah, I might decorate a little tree and Ralphie will be like putting a bobble on or something like that in the morning. So yeah, these are just really good to have. They're just little warm white lights. I bought loads of packets of them last year. I use them to like wrap around wreaths and stuff as well. Um, they're just really handy to have. I got two packs of these, probably for stocking fillers, probably me snacking on them tonight. I also got this little packet of candles. These are just wee small ones that I think I'm going to put in the bathroom. Um, the festive fur and apple and cinnamon. So good. That would be a nice stocking filler for someone as well. They were only £2. So, um, or a nice Secret Santa. I wonder if people are doing Secret Santas this year because we don't, most of us aren't in offices and are working from home. So I hope that's not a tradition that's going to die out in 2020. Next, I'm going to move on to a few of the little toys that I've got for Marcus. Some of these are going to go away for his birthday because his birthday's in January and some will be like shared presents. Uh, for him and Oliver. So I got quite a lot of Peppa Pig themed stuff because he is so into Peppa Pig. I got Peppa Pig school bus and it's got Miss Rabbit sitting in the front there. He will love, he's transport obsessed and Peppa obsessed so this is like the perfect combination of things for him. <laughs> and yeah that was £11. I also got Grandpa Pig's boat which you just push along and it comes with Grandpa Pig. I actually thought that was George up until I went to see that there. Yeah, it's Grandpa Pig. Or is it? Maybe it is meant to be George. No, I'm pretty sure that's what Grandpa Pig wears. I've been watching paper too much. No, well, there's Grandpa Pig there. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Marcus probably doesn't know either. But they have got like a full little kit here of different things. So he can put the school bus together with the boat and stuff and just play with them all together, which is cute. So more Peppa Pig stuff. I got in this little doctor's set, which was £4.50. Um, it just comes with the, like, I want to say stethoscope, the thing where you can hear the heartbeat and yeah, just little tools, a wee syringe and stuff, which is really cute. I think you'll like that. And then this big one was £15. This is the bubble lawnmower. I think he's going to absolutely love this. I got something similar to this. Well, basically the same thing, not a Peppa Pig one, but I got one for my friend's wee boy in the summer for his birthday and he loved it. And I think Marcus is now going to be at the same age that he was at, he was back then. Um, and he's going to love it too. So you basically just put water in it and you can push it along the grass and all the bubbles will come out. I actually think I might wrap a lot of presents for Christmas and then just see how they get on in the day. And if they're sick of opening things or if they're too distracted by one of their presents, I might just keep a few presents back um, and give them to Marcus for his birthday because there's no point in wasting things on Christmas and ruining the surprise once the novel is worn off. <laughs> but this book, so My Big Christmas activity book, mixed activity book, it's got stickers and stuff in it, um, and dot to dots, colouring in. It was £1.50. If you're doing a Christmas Eve box, this would be good for a Christmas Eve box. I was going to say a December box, obviously, if most people have given them by now, if that's what you're doing. We give ours on the first, but it's just a good little activity thing to get through and get them in the mood for Christmas. This is the little Christmas tree that I got for the boys' room. I'm definitely going to spend a bit more time doing this, and getting them all in the right place. But once I've got the wee lights on it, I think that will be really, really cute. And it just comes with the wee bit at the bottom. I love this, actually. That is so cute. So that was only £4. How cute is that? Oh, I'm going to go and put set that up in the room after this, actually. I'm not going to wait till the morning for Buddy to do it, because he's not even called Buddy, he's called Ralphie. I find that so adorable. I think this is my favourite purchase from the whole haul. But I may have spoke too soon there actually because I also got this little light up bookshop and I've started unintentionally making like a little village of little Christmas houses that I buy every year. We have it on the little sideboard over there with some wee lights and it's really cute. And I saw this one and thought it would be, oh my god it's so cute. I thought it would be good to add to our little village. And you can put batteries in it 
and put the lights on. Oh, how cute is that? It's just a wee plastic one. Um, they have different options. Yeah, they have different options for like whatever style you like, but I thought this one was cute, very traditional Christmas. And it can sit next to the boys' wee advent calendar. So this one is a game for the boys. So it's past the parcel Brussels spout, sprout. So you can use it on Christmas day. I might actually keep it for Christmas day because my niece, Julia, she's two and a half and I think she would love this as well. So they just pass it around and then it's like crepe paper and they can take that off and then there should be a wee prize inside and there's wee forfeits and stuff. I just think that's so, so cute. Um, yeah, there's wee games inside mystery calculator, like a wee jigsaw. And it's obviously just you don't know what you're going to get. So it's a wee surprise. So I'm going to keep this one for Christmas Day for the younger kids. I also got this little random gadget, but I think I'm going to really enjoy it. It's a slicer. So you put an onion or whatever it is that you want to do, and then you just slice it. thought that will be quite good. I think it cuts it into wedges. I've never had anything like this before, but I always see them on like cooking videos and stuff and wish I had one so I'll let you know how I got on with that. If I'm doing any cooking videos soon then you'll definitely be seeing this. Back to toys for the boys. Oliver is just starting to get into figures and things and superheroes because my mum brought down like Batman, Marvel, all that sort of stuff, the wee figures so Oliver's starting to get into that and I thought I'd get him his own for the house. So these are the Mar Marvel Superhero Adventures Mega Mighties. I don't even know who the guys are, if I'm totally honest. This guy is Black Panther and this guy is Iron Man. I have seen that film so I should know that. Two of these and they were £10 each, which I actually think is really good compared to what I'd saw online for them. So yeah, I think he'll be so buzzing and the fact that there's two of them means there's one for him and one for Marcus. I got myself a little coffee cup because the ones that I had before I lost the lid for, which just makes it null and void because you can't really walk about go for a walk with the kids and you've got just basically a cup. For some reason it changes the whole vibe when you don't have a little sippy bit on the top. So I've got this one, it's biodegradable, has a little top, it's made from wheat or something I'm sure it said. It's got a wee stutter inside, how cute. Um, yeah, and that was, I think it was like two pounds. I really like the colour of it. That was two pounds, yeah, so it's an eco travel mug. It is made from biodegradable wheat stock. What do you think of that? <laughs> How cute is that? Really happy with that and we're actually going for a nice snowy walk today so I'll be filling this up with a wee caramel coffee or a hot chocolate and taking it with me. Andy's not getting one because he's the one that always loses the tops for them. Um, I got myself some Dove Derma Spa Midnight Melting Body Balm. I love Dove products, absolutely love them and I'm actually Going back to using Dove soap on my face, there's so many benefits of that. I've always noticed my skin will really clear up if I use Dove and nothing else. So yeah, I'm using Dove soap on my face, Dove soap in the shower. So I thought I might get some, some Dove moisturiser as well. So this little tub was £4. Everyone knows that Dove just smells amazing. Is it just me? I just love it. It's so clean and it's just lovely. Okay, so another thing from their little elf collection is the elf dream light so it's kind of like a projector so it's a night light color change with night light um i'm going to try this with the boys tonight oh this could be another I, everything i think of i think could this be something that he sets up but it'll need to be at night time i might do this as something that ralphie's done um yeah that's all it is basically so as long as you've got a dark room you can set up the elf dream light so cute and um, i got all over this little bag for nursery, he loves Toy Story, so the nursery always asks to have a wee bag in there so that when they've got their dirty clothes or whatever, then they can just put them into the bag and it's not going to affect the clean clothes that are in the bag. So I thought I'd get him a wee Toy Story one so that it's not just a little Sainsbury's bag or something. Okay, so last but not least, I got this little kit. This is like a stocking basically for my mum's little puppy, Ruby. Um, this is her first Christmas and I wanted to get her her own present. So this is a bundle and it's £10 and you get so much for it. It's so good. So you get this little toy with a Santa and a rope pull thing. You get this packet which has got the ball and another little rope pull toy thing and some bones. You get a packet of meaty treats, bacon flavour. <laughs> but that's what dogs like. And um, we get a dental toy shaped like a chicken drum drumstick. And best of all, we get a little dog outfit. Secret Santa, so Secret Santa. Sorry Santa, I eat the cookies. 
How cute is that? This is going to be a wee bit big on her, but it's fine. It's still cute. That was everything that I got from Cherries. I hope you're as impressed as I am because I found so many good things in there for really, really good prices. I have got the discount code for you. You also build up points while you use the app. So while you are buying different things, you get certain amounts of points for them and then you can use your points to buy other things, which is a big difference from just buying the stuff in the shop like I normally would. The fact that I'm actually getting money back for it is brilliant. Use my discount code ALI20, download the app Cherries and you will love it. Really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing everything that I got. Leave a comment below and tell me what your favourite thing was and I will see you in my next one. Bye!